Hello, and welcome to the new Summit County Property Information Search and Map Tool, also known as PRISM. The existing tool has been around for a while and served the county well, but all good things come to an end, so we sent them into retirement. This demo will show the functionality of the website and how to navigate the various tools. Upon launching the website, you will be greeted with our disclaimer page. Please note that this website is for display purposes only and should not be used for legal conveyance. The data contained in this website is not necessarily accurate by survey standards and can be erroneous, omitted, and changed at any time. Once you accept the terms and conditions, you are greeted with an additional set of windows that aim to get you started with using the website, most of which will be covered in this demo. You can click through the various windows or click OK to close them. If you need to get back to the tips and tricks, you can access them using the I button on the header. The map's initial extent is the full extent of the county with some basic layers turned on. As you zoom in, and out more layers will appear. You may use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. You can also use the plus and minus sign to zoom. The house symbol will return you to the full extent of the map and the location tool will show your location of where you currently are. You can also press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and draw a box with your mouse to zoom to a specific location. If you know where your area of interest is, you may zoom to that area, click on a parcel, and the information for that parcel will, will appear on the left sidebar. The left sidebar is where we will perform searches and find information regarding parcels, addresses, roads, and zoning. For example, I click on a single family home. The information regarding the parcel is shown in both the list and in the feature info widget. I can see the schedule number, PPI, owner names, property description, physical address, jurisdiction, and also a link to the detail page. If you click on this link, a new browser window will be shown with all the detailed information that we used to have in the prior application. You can also see related addresses for the property. I'll go to a property that has an accessory apartment. As you can see, I click on the parcel I have one parcel selected and I can choose addresses and see that there's two addresses associated with that property, one for the accessory apartment and one for the main building. Now say I wanna click on a condominium property such as 10 Mile Creek Condo. We see that there's 61 records associated with this property. They're shown in the list and in the feature info widget. You can scroll on the list to find your property of choice. And if we unselect that record from the list, We can also scroll through the parcel feature info widget and scroll through the various properties as well. When you are done navigating and or searching, please use the clear selection button in the map. And you may also need to use the clear list button if you've chosen something from the list. All right, let's get rid of the sidebar and talk about some of the other features of the website. 
For now, let's skip the search tool and move over to some of the uh, map tools. The layer list will appear in the right sidebar. Some of the layers, such as schedule number, label, road center lines, addresses, and parcels are scale dependent, meaning that they will only appear at certain scales. These layers will appear gray when they are not activated. You can see as I zoom in, the road center line, schedule number label, parcels, and once we get in even closer, the addresses will appear. You can turn on and off any of these layers at any time. Please note, you can expand the reference layers to see additional layers that are shown. By default, the reference layer is not expanded. You can collapse it here using this button. And if you're interested in viewing zoning, you can turn that layer on. It is off by default as it is a very bright color. The next button is the legend button. The legend will appear and show the symbology for any of the visible layers. As you zoom in, more layers become visible and you can see their symbology here. The next button on our toolbar is the base map gallery. The base map gallery will allow you to choose a base map of your interest. By default, the Vexel aerial imagery is shown. Vexel has a statewide program to deliver high resolution aerial images that are flown on a regular basis. You can choose any of the base maps. And please note that all of the base maps are not generated by Summit County and may have inaccuracies or out of date data. The help info button will show the GIS map contact email address and other links to resources. It also has a button to reactivate our tips and tricks window. We also have a link to GIS's open data webpage where you can download data sets. Please send any questions regarding this website to gismaps at summitcountyco.gov. Next is the print tool. You may open the print tool, zoom to your area of interest, choose a template, give your map a name, and choose print. The print will take uh, a minute or so to generate the result. As you can see, it's working here. Once your print is generated, it will show up in the results list. You can click on the results tab, click on your map that you just named, and it will print out a PDF version of that map. You can then save and or print. The share button allows you to share this website in a number of different formats. You can embed this website in another website. You can generate a QR code. You can generate an email that would have a link to the website. And then you can also grab a quick link to share with others. Mailing list buffer tool will allow you to open a new browser window with our public notification list application. Please follow the instructions in the new application to generate mailing lists. The coordinates tool will allow you to get the longitude and latitude of a point on the map. You can zoom to your location, use your cursor, point and click, and you'll get the coordinates. You can then copy them and use them in other applications. Please note this is not survey accurate. It may be inaccurate. The measurement tool will allow you to measure lines or polygons directly in the map. 
if, for example, you wanted to construct a fence and wanted to find out how much uh, linear feet to purchase, you can draw in a fence line and you can get your distance.